Pondering the question, is the mean of a sample an unbiased estimator of the population mean, may seem like a daunting task, but fear not. We are about to venture into the depths of this conundrum and emerge with a clear understanding of the matter. First, let's establish the ground rules. We are assuming a population with a mean represented by the Greek letter mu, mu. From this population, we draw a random sample of n observations. The sample mean, denoted as x underscore bar, is the sum of all these observations divided by the sample size n output. Now the concept of the expected value of a random variable comes into play. This is essentially the average value we anticipate seeing if we repeated the experiment a multitude of times. In this context, the expected value of the sample mean is the average value we'd get if we kept drawing random samples of size and from the population and calculated the sample mean each time. The linearity of expectation, a fundamental concept in probability, is our next stop. It tells us that the expected value of a sum of random variables equals the sum of their expected values. Applying this to our formula for the sample mean x underscore bar equals 1 over n times the sum of g's, we substitute into the expectation formula resulting in ex bar equals e of 1 over n times the sum of g's. The linearity of expectation transforms this into ex bar equals 1 over n times e of the sum of g's. Seeing as she's are observations from the population with mean mu, we know that the expected value of each she is mu. This allows us to simplify our equation into ex bar equals 1 over n times the sum of ishis, which further simplifies to 1 over n times the sum of mu, which equals mu. This conclusion, my friends, is the crux of our exploration. The expected value of the sample mean ex bar is indeed equal to the population mean mu, Thus, we have proven that the mean of a sample is, without a doubt, an unbiased estimator of the population mean. A fascinating journey, wouldn't you agree?